nervous about tomorrow's load, not gonna lie. And there's the first bug spot. We haven't made it three miles. Thank you, bugs. A um, little nervous about tomorrow's load. It's a pump load for oil. And last time I pumped an oil load, the truck and the trailer got an oil bath. Now, the place that I'm taking it to is getting multiples that day, so between their experience and some other driver's experience, I'm gonna try to uh, put the pieces together on how to do this without uh, getting real dirty. Because hydraulic fluid's one thing. Hot soap and water gets that off. Oil takes solvent and uh, that's, it's a hassle. It's, it's a big hassle. So we're gonna take our time. We're gonna kind of follow the protocols and we should be good to go. There's certain little nuances and certain procedures that you have to do when you're pumping an oil load. And if you get it wrong, things get wet. So that's about the third or fourth car like that that I've seen. Not old school, but pulling a trailer like they've got some kind of a, a cross country rally or a race or something going on. So pretty cool. And they've all been right here in this town. So anyway, we are easing on to the house. Be good to spend the night with the wife and kids for a while, you know? It's been a little while. But again, we will have a load tomorrow that's gonna take us, gosh, we're gonna be gone, you know, not early in the morning, it'll be late morning, but it's gonna deliver at four, which means it'll take about an hour. So that's five o'clock and it's about three hours away. So I'm not gonna get back into Tulsa till eight, almost nine o'clock. And by the time you probably stop and eat or something like that. So it's gonna be a long day tomorrow, but I'm gonna recapture about nine hours tomorrow onto my clock. So there's no threat on my hours. As I was explaining, you start recouping days as uh, time goes on. So um, I was thumbing through my phone. I've got my logbook on my phone now. I downloaded the app and signed in so that while the truck was sitting there, I could you know look over some stuff and. That's when I noticed I'm gonna recoup about eight and a half hours tomorrow. So we're only gonna burn another hour today. That's gonna to take us down to about 14 hours. And um, yeah, when that takes us down to about 14 hours, we will uh, gain eight, so eight and a half. So we'll have about 22 hours to, to do work tomorrow, which will be more than enough. I was also informed that my trailer that matches this truck will be in Valley Center tomorrow. You know, the place that we went last weekend on a hunt for it, I guess it'll finally be there. So that's great news. We'll get hooked up and partnered up with it eventually. Not real sure what next week holds. I know that the plan is to get carted in at some of these places. So um, I have that trailer that's sitting at the oil yard that we can use to get up in that direction. Because if you remember, we picked it up in Ponca City. So if anything, we'll take the trailer that we found at the oil yard or at Ponca City and we'll take it to, from the oil yard to Ponca City again, reload it, maybe carry an unstinched load up to McPherson and then come back down to Valley Center, drop it, grab our trailer, and then go on with life. But again, I don't know what I'm doing Monday. The dispatcher doesn't know what I'm doing Monday. So we'll find out that on Sunday or Monday. But we're gonna hammer down here and get to the house. Got a couple phone calls to make. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Thank you for joining me. Please like, please subscribe. Ask questions, leave comments if you choose to do so. None of it costs you a dime and it really helps the channel. So appreciate you doing that. Well, we got loaded up. The trailer was sitting on the pad. I thought it was already loaded. 
thought it might have ended up being a preload, but it wasn't. We had to drop ours, hook up to it, pulled around on the scale, got our empty weight, pulled around, got our load on, and then uh, got our loaded weight, as well as grabbed a little bit of diesel for the trailer. I'm gonna try to show y'all the unload here. It's not too chaotic. Again, it's it's my first one in many years on pumping a load of oil, and things can things can go bad real quick. So I uh, got a couple of insights from two different drivers. So I feel enough to be dangerous. <laughs> um, and I feel all right about it. I'm sure it'll go fine. They gave me, a, gave me a couple of, you know, don't do this or do do this, you know? So I've got those in mind. There's somebody standing up here in this road. So they gave me those pointers and that'll help out tremendously. Oh boy, what's going on here? This guy's pulling a shopping cart down the highway, but he's got his American flag going. Right on, brother. Looks like we're gonna turn back uh, north here about a half mile. And then it should be on our right-hand side. And everybody gets to stop. This guy's giving us the benefit of the doubt. Which is always helpful for those that are not truck drivers. This thing takes up a lot of room. When you see a truck approaching an intersection, hanging back off of it really helps us a bunch if we're turning there. Never been here before, so it's gonna be the first for all of us. I can see the gravel entrance now. Use this fan to get the engine cooled down so it's not kicking on while we're in here as much. It's gonna get the truck dirty. Okay. Now we just gotta find out where this goes. Man, it's dusty in here. We're just gonna kinda idle through, try to keep the dust down. Looks like they're over there making asphalt or something. We gotta try to figure out where we go. It said you unload into their trailer. That's fuel over there, the red and white. I'm thinking we're over here. We will likely have to go find somebody before we unload though. I don't just unload into anything, hope for the best, you know? Yeah. I'm not seeing anything remotely close to what we're supposed to be in right now. Let me give somebody a call here back in a second well I told y'all we delivered to some weird places <laughs> we found one we are driving in between rock piles and all kinds of stuff we got to follow that loader all the way up that hill and unload at the top of that hill so we're gonna have to lock the power divider in and, and give her hell this is gonna be interesting down to the bottom right here a little bit yeah this is gonna be a lot of fun All right, we're gonna lock it in I think I can't 
can, I think I can. I think we're gonna be good to go. Wasn't as bad as I thought. Plenty of throttle left. Thanks for the information there, Bubba. We're gonna get this rig turned around. Turn that power divider off so we can turn a little easier. Me an interesting view. And they do appear to have a hose, which is good. People have made a big mess up here. They got a long hose. Okay. We're going to try to get a little bit closer to it. Not hitting it, obviously. It's going to take some finesse. Try to get over there without hitting that trailer and get it. We're gonna take a look, see right there. All right, we got the hydraulic lines connected to the truck from the trailer. We're getting ready to drag the hose and hook from our trailer to theirs. We're gonna load off the bottom right there. Let's get up on top of theirs and see how empty or full it is. They're insulated, so it'll be hard to tell. Bone dry. I'm trying to shake it, but it's not shaking much, but it's dry. All right, one thing is still peeing diesel, which is the reason why we do that. So that pump will turn. You put diesel in it because it thins out that oil and allows it to be used. This hadn't been used in a while either. You can tell it's stuck to the tray. Come on now. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, ours is more flexible. Looks to be a little bit newer, better shape. Hopefully the ends come off. So there's some pressure in it. All right, Put that out. Make sure the gasket's still in it. It is, you see the black ring. Much better, much better. Okay. I'm hoping we're close enough, I think we are. Again, first time here, so I got I got over once more. Gasket still in it, so that's good. Put that dude up there. Okay. We'll go ahead and put our hose on. go look at that if 
first timer's luck. Okay, now that we got that squared away, we're gonna open up our valve, which will fill the hose. We're gonna open up their valve. And honestly, pressure alone ought to move this thing over, at least start. So closed, open this. Okay, now we're gonna go turn on the PTO and we're looking for the pump head. I see the pump right here, but I don't see a shaft to tell me which way it's gonna spin. I was told you ought to be seeing it spin counterclockwise, which I can see this shaft head here I don't see any arrows or anything on it that tell me an orientation of which way it's supposed to go. Just that little indication that we saw just a minute ago. So anyway, let's fire the PTO up and uh, get this thing going. The good thing is, is it'll either suck air or it'll push liquid whichever way it's going. So we'll find out pretty quick if we've got it in the right direction or need to switch it around. It won't be detrimental at this point because there's nothing in that trailer. It'll either start filling with liquid, like I said, or we'll hear it sucking air. Man, and we have stepped in diesel, I think. Let's walk around in the gravel a minute. trying to keep this stuff out of the truck you know you gotta live in this thing unfortunately this is some of the jobs we got to do that's better it's covered in dirt but we use this dude a little bit Try to clean some of that off. All right. So put it in gear. PTO neutral. PTO's on. Fans on. We're gonna leave it at idle. Okay. That's not leaking, which is great. That's what they fixed. They fill it full of hydraulic fluid again, so we're good there. Come around the truck. And they said counterclockwise. I can't see. There's that shaft. Let's see. That's counterclockwise. Easy, easy. Now that's clockwise. Now that's clockwise. Well, it's clockwise which way though? Let me make a phone call. Well, first time in a long time mistake, I didn't have the valve open. So it had pressured up the hose because I couldn't push the fluid through. So I was feeling the hose and it was getting warm to the touch. We're gonna climb up here and we should be seeing fluid going to the nose. Oh yeah, I see it. It's pushing it forward. That's what we needed right there. All right, we are definitely unloading. All right, I was not aware that the pickup tube is in the back of the trailer or I forgot one of the two so we're gonna have to move this rig I've disconnected everything I've disconnected the hose 
shut both valves well i shut both valves first disconnected the hose capped the hose off so now we're gonna back up and we're gonna have to make a u-turn in here So I can get the back down because even with lowering the bags on the trailer, it wasn't enough. It did not do enough. So what I should have done when I got here, had I known, is I'd have just pulled up alongside it. But now we know. It's a good thing this thing is this big up here. inside this thing this is where that window comes in handy this blind sighting is no fun but not by much I'm just gonna have to hope for the best here we might have made it I'm gonna grab my gloves let's see I think we're good but you don't know till you know Super tight, but I think we're gonna make it. Let's be easy on this. Oh gosh. It's because now we're downhill. We're gonna do this one last. A little bit of wall on the ground's okay. This rock will eventually be used for roads and stuff. Okay. Pull this off. Put that on. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. All right. So now we're gonna open up our trailer and turn that PTO on ever so slightly. We'll turn the PTO on, we'll turn our pump on ever so slightly. And then we gotta rush over here and open up their valve because this hose may be filled with fluid. Pretty sure I was pumping air because I heard it gurgling, but uh, we're just gonna have to be careful here. You're along for the journey, so let's do this. So PTO's running, pump is not turning. We've got it in neutral, to be honest with you. It actually wouldn't hurt to go ahead and open up their valve and then open up ours because we're gonna have to push it all through anyway. So we'll go ahead and, ah, I hate to do that. That thing's got 6,000 gallons and I've got like 50. Okay, so open up our valve. Okay. Turn this motor on ever so slightly. Remember, we gotta be quick with this. Just a little bit. You gotta be quick with it. <laughs> Pro 
probably don't even need it that open that far but all right now go back oh yeah definitely got fluid in it now just gonna turn it up a little bit their trailer is getting so full let's go get eyes on it There's a hot one out here today. Over 90 degrees. Okay, still got room. Since the steam is cleared and the sun is set, we got that ring and this ring before we really gotta get worried. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up just a little bit more so I can make sure we're actually pushing against all that pressure. empty now that's what we needed right there there's not much product left in there should be able to get it all in their trailer and then be able to shut this down the right way our boots aren't too bad We'll kick them around in the dirt and then I've got some citrus stuff called Nature Solve that will clean up all the oil off of them. I have to clean some off of my arms and stuff, but that's all right. And we'll notice a change in pitch. You hear how it's, it's not laboring, but it's working. It'll switch to, there it goes. That's it. That's what we wanted right there. <laughs> 